me wate. Everybody want him back. But I'm a boy when he make up and he buy you. Everybody, yes, you are him for the end. But I'm a boy when he make up and he buy Say ya, na what's that no? Tura na what you do? Tutua na what you do? Me try wa bamba yo.
against the daughters of Zion and the sons of God. Hence, I want to encourage every one of you watching me and listening to the sound of my voice that you have to be strong in the things of God. For Paul wrote to the church in Ephesus and he said, For this reason be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. When you are strong and in the mighty power of God, God is able to bring you close to your destiny. He's able to make manifestations of his uncommon Shekinah glory. My name is Apostle Kofi and God sent our Apostolic Evangelist. One thank God for each and every one of you alive. And this is Destiny Apostolic Church International, a big program platform on um, the midnight cry at every midnight from Friday early in the morning. Today happens to be a Friday and by God's special grace happens to be on the 15th day in the month of July. I don't see any shit anymore, yam. A jeff found when you had a mamma. Baby, I'm more where chili chili and a bench. I'm slow in yam yabba say more than send Tom or so. Never had a yam of boar for. Bidding at the apostle of your answer, and when you that I know what to that I know, nobody can catch all that I know. No, because of the so I say, I'm here with Joshua. 
producing me from the in-house and also um, we have by God's grace my daughters and sons near and afar who are all part of the program and Nana Ajman producing us from afar and Florence Missy also producing us from Germany supporting the broadcast sharing all the vital information and empowering everybody to be a blessing lift up your voice let us honor god and appreciate him as you press the share button lift up your voice and let us honor the lord let us honor god let us honor god let us honor god bantani mazoli bro gudu gabra zali brantani mazali kaya Bili bi bili bo bo lo bo bo shi tori bo sha tali bra ga tundi ma dali ga kosko tori ga di shi ga papas ka pra ka punto ni ma zali bra ga du mini ma zali an ni ekele ge de gre ga du shi ka prus ke te ga ban tuni ma zani ya thank you le ba zoli bo thank you le ba bra ga du ga bra tuni ma zoli bo Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Son. Thank you, Holy God. Ye ke bo sha tori ba shi tori ba gadu ya. Mende re bo 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 lo 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 bo bo
receive it in the name of Jesus, my dear. Receive it. I do a whole a champion. Receive the blessings of the Lord God Almighty. Betty, I seal that blessing upon your life. This morning, I am here to release a prophetic word of blessing upon you. Betty Osebonsu, receive the blessing. Receive the blessing according to Ephesians 1 3. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Apostle Frank Men, a hey, man of God. I told you that Apostle from Texas is going to be a blessing unto us um, on, on, on coming Friday's week. He is doing the half night with us. Very dynamic and very powerful man of God. God has ordained for this end time. So this coming Friday, you know, today I'm doing a half night with you. But the next Friday, I have told you already that the man of God with great anointing, special grace, apostle of grace, is coming all the way from Texas. He's here with us. Apostle Frank Menu, God bless you. We believe in trusting God and waiting for the fresh anointing you are bringing to us in the United Kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Nana Akusuya Azrivi. I decree and declare that prophetic word of blessings to be confirmed and sealed on your life. Amen. Receive it in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, Christine Kakari, Christiana, I pray that may the Lord God Almighty cause you to be blessed. Regina Jima, Bali Brantuni Mazalikra Katuri Bakuya. Regina Try and keep your visions until they mature. Try and keep your visions until they mature. Because I see in the realms of the spirit that your blessing can be delayed, be denied, or be delayed as a result of somebody you will confine in. Please take care and make sure that you, you, you keep your vision. Don't just expose yourself or say anything. Maria Bedu, I decree and I declare God's uncommon supernatural oil of grace upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray, pray that God will grant you uncommon glory. Maria, I see a white scarf, white scarf on your head. It's a sign and a symbol of God's victory. Oh God, lifting up your head. Catch it with a day, with a day. We need to be a for you who are pigeon me to. We need to be a pigeon as a four. Eddie Adoma Basse, more than KCB, every pigeon with you. My Libra, Talibran, Tunima, Zaligra, Gaduli, Gadushia. I decree and I declare, Tabita, may the Lord God Almighty cause you to be blessed. Receive it. Receive it. May that blessing be done. I decree and I also declare, Tabitha, may the Lord God Almighty call the blessings of God to be done in your life. Nana Equia, I pray for you this evening as we are back on this journey of this midnight cry. May the prophetic fire of God surround your life. Amen. Prophetic fire of God surround your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Nia. Nana Equia. If it's possible for you to let somebody buy rice and give it out, either to an orphanage home, um, either to a widow or to a, a less privileged individual, somebody who is struggling to feed, let them do that. Send money. To the person, okay, Nanakia, send money to somebody to go and do that for you. For whatever reason, if life is tight, certain things, finances are very tight, you have been struggling yourself and you can't get in touch with me, I'll make provision for you for you to go and buy that for you to break through. I remember many years ago, one beautiful daughter of mine came to an all night. And that was the first time she showed up. And I think that was a few, few um, first times. And uh, God told me to tell her to buy tambourine. And any time she come to the church, I give her direction to shake it. Because it's a long-standing need in her personal life is going to be shaken and be taken off. 
she said to me she doesn't have what it takes i said come for money i gave her money she bought a tambourine she did that the direction god broke her through she began to have some job to do later on she was granted her status and you can't believe every time we go to all night to do my program the all night service and then we do normally raise some funds to support pay for that church building where we do that all night and also other radio ministry you can't believe every time we meet and we call for an amount of 50 pounds and normally we start 50 pounds. she's the first person or she's always part of those people to show up can you see that such a person who has such a great heart and a, de a dedication and a commitment a commitment for god was being hindered and was being suppressed by the enemy from excelling but i thank god god in his infinite wisdom gave direction and when she had held to and i gave her money to buy that tambourine now she has broken through and broken forth can you see what god is able to do so do that it shall be a blessing doreen I decree blessing done upon your life. May everything surrender to your influence in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. When you are there, please don't feel sad. Don't let your heart be troubled. Don't feel sadness in your spirit. Say to yourself all the time, it is not over until I win. Don't do that. Nana um vera mom that's my mom mom i pray that as you says you are blessed may the lord indeed cause you to be blessed in the name of jesus now now i want to remind you that the bible says that a good man leaves inheritance for his children children your mom lived a good life made a great impact and lived a legacy on this planet called earth was a, was one of the greatest um, bishop of all times, a lady bishop. And those days, around 1956, that when she started ministry all the way to, until when she passed away um, a couple of years ago, you see, we all know what she was able to do, the impact she was able to make. Remember the sacrifice and the dedication she has made will always keep you going when life become tough or challenges become unbearable remind god of the sacrifices of your mother and your own sacrifice in destiny apostolic church international and also in my personal life as, as an apostle of christ jesus i pray that may it be well with you and may Amen. everything surrender to your influence Amen. and now receive it in the name of jesus, jesus. christ vida vida and here i pray for you you are blessed indeed and the blessings of god that showered upon man's life and changes his destiny and causes the man to flourish and soar like an eagle is coming your way Amen. receive it in the name of jesus, jesus christ. christ of nazareth Balikra Katuli Basonia, young prophet elijah avan yes indeed you are blessed for confirming that you are blessed heaven is sealing that blessing for Ephesians says, we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the name of Jesus. I see you playing with doves, dove, dove, a young prophet Elijah. I see you playing with a lot of white doves. It's a good and a symbol of the Holy Spirit or the Holy Presence of Yeshua. So pray that God will help you to maintain your purity and also maintain your dedication and commitment to him and may everything you do pleases him because uh, there, there's always going to be a presence yes the, the the unique divine presence of god with you you are playing with a lot of doves a lot of dives dove you know dove uh, if i should say dove or dove whichever one i pray that the lord god almighty will let his will and purpose come to pass in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i also decree and declare bismarck Balikra Kasunia, may hand of the Lord and the grace of God be sufficient upon your life. I see you wearing, you are wearing a suit quite all right, but you are wearing a slipper. It's, it's, it's not normal. We don't wear a slipper and then wear shoe, uh, sorry, and wear suit. So I, I am praying. When you are praying, tell the Lord, Father God, shape my destiny. 
You see, there is a scripture God gives you to me right now to give to you. And that is Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 1, coming downwards. Where God sent Jeremiah to the porter's house. And where he said to Jeremiah, go to the porter's house and there I will let you hear my message. And Jeremiah went to the porter's house and saw what the porter was doing God spoil. And Jeremiah saw that the porter redesigned whatever he was doing with, with the spoil clay. And God asked Jeremiah, O oh, son of man, can I not do with you, O oh, house of Israel, like this porter does, like clay in the hands of a porter, so you are in my hands. Pray for re, 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 uh, 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 ask God to redesign you, ask God to reshape you, ask God to realign you, ask God to um, uh, favor your life, ask God to rededicate re, re you and redecorate you and recommit you to where you're supposed to be, what you're supposed to do, what you are supposed to achieve. I see something supernatural will happen, son. Don't give up. I always pray for you and I always remind God of your uncommon, um, your uncommon sacrifice and dedication to the things of God. Receive it. Florence Bonsu Osa, I pray that since you are blessed, may the Lord God Almighty confirm and affirm that blessing done on your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Masikuturi Katunia. But they are not burning you. You are very close to fire, but the fire is not burning you. But I can see that there is a lot of people around, but they have, there is a distance between you, the fire, and, you, and yourself. You are in the middle of the fire, and I see others very far away from the fire, but it's like a circle. The Lord is saying to me that pray that Anybody who does not have good intention for your life, anybody whose um, idea, whose wish, and whose thought for you is evil and negative will, 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 will be repelled by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Most time when you are praying, try and apply the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire. You will have a particular dream where you will see a demonstration and a display of Holy Ghost fire. I pray that may that happen in your life. May God keep you safe, keep you sound, keep you secure. May everything surrender to your influence in the name of Jesus. Jesus Leticia, since you confirm you are blessed, may the Lord indeed, Almighty God, command blessings done on your life. May everything surrender to your influence in the name of Jesus Christ. Malik Ratunia, yes, you should no makumu if something hurts you. If you get disappointed or you get frustrated by something that you don't expect, yes, it's a true home, okay? Uh, don't take to heart too much when you feel so much depressed and so frustrated. I see that when people do things to you or, or act in a particular way towards you, it really gets into you. The Lord is saying to me, I should tell you, uh, work on the grace of God to be able to let go of things easily and to focus on what is ahead of you rather than what is happening to you. So I want you to pray and ask God to help you. Leticia, ask God for help. Because um, Sometimes you think, one of the things is you think the way you are should be how everybody is. You think good about people, you have, um, you give people the benefit of the doubt and many other things. But many people's mind towards you or how your mind is clear is not how they are. So don't drag things too much in the inside of you. Let God help you and it shall be well. I pray for you. Duku Kachre that may the oil of Christ Jesus and the grace of God be sufficient upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Kali kraka tuntini mazali brantuni mazali bobo skuturi basikiti ketika pasukuturi mazande mahani magatuya. I pray for you that may God's grace keep you safe, sound, and secure. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
also pray for you Richie the Amenian Pong receive the oil of grace receive the fire of God receive the power of God in the name of Jesus I don't know where you go to church but you need to be able to do something Richida wherever you go to church please look for something and buy and then put it in the church where you go okay pebribina to ne fesi asore a wukum asore pebribia e be si asore demo na ensiwo e kase wo nyankropon ti asofo inshira na dom ene na ho din bi e flow from the house of god continuously into your life mm -hmm. so richida look for something and buy something which was whether it's a chair whether it's a tambourine whether it's a microphone something buy it if you don't have money look for money buy it buy something and leave it in the house of god i tell you it will continually speak for you it will continually bless you and attract favor on your life receive it in the name of jesus gloria techi i decree and i declare god's uncommon supernatural fire and grace upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pray that God will give you the peaceful heart. Okay? Pray that God will give you a peaceful heart. Someone very close to you will do something that will kind of, will let you start thinking a whole lot. And if you are not careful, you will start thinking evil. But pray that God will give you peaceful heart. No matter what comes your way, no matter what you see, no matter what anybody does, no matter the pains anybody calls you, tell the Lord to give you a peaceful heart. The other day, David uh, Joseph said, The Lord God Almighty has made me to forget about the toil in my father's house. God has made me to forget about the toil in my father's house, the pain my brothers caused me. You see, it, sometimes people say, Oh, I would... Um, um, I will forgive, but I can't forget. I always say, uh, that one, if you say, it will still haunt you, it will still work against you. You can let it go. But because, oh, no, won't me, you won't me, because we nip the sister, my man can't show. There is a record in the Bible according to Genesis chapter 41. The Bible said that Joseph gave birth to his first son and the Bible said he named him Ephraim and then, sorry, Manasseh. And then he said, God has made me to forget about the pain in my father's house, the pain my brothers caused me, the, the, the pain they put me through. Did you hear that? He didn't even say God has made it to me to forgive them all. He said, God has made me to forget. So sometimes if you want to forget or let go, God can easily let you go, let go of, help you to let go. Unless maybe we want to keep it for record keeping. <laughs> Otherwise, if you want to let go, God can easily let go. But I pray that God will give you that peaceful heart that any hurt, any pain that comes your way, God will help you to break through. I pray for peace for your life. In the name of Jesus. So I decree and I declare unto your life that the hand of the Lord will put you where you belong. And the grace of God will favor you from Zion in the name of Jesus. Tabitha, receive that blessing done in your life. Receive that favor done in your destiny. Receive that glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If you and your family can do a family fast, okay, um, pick one, one week. One week, day you were born, your family will help you fast. Day your spouse is born, you will help him fast. Day your children are born, you do it, okay? One, one week, put it aside and do that. And what you have to do is that any problems in your background, any problem in anybody's background, you are setting yourself free out of it and you are breaking yourself loose. Uh, 
any evil foundation, you are destroying it. Set that aside and do this fam uh, family fast. And then every one of you, when you finish, build a hedge of fire run about you. Remember, after this, there's going to be something that you would have realized that it would have been very terrible. But God in his infinite wisdom will make it easy or will make you know that, hey, if we had not done this, then we don't know how severe or uh, the impact or the gravity of this. Psalm 91 will be your psalm. You'll be reading it all together, all through from 1 to 16. And the verse 16 says, With long life will he satisfy me and show me his salvation. May the Lord God Almighty satisfy you and show you his salvation. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, I say receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I decree and I declare supernatural unction to function for your life. As God lives and your soul lives uh, in Jesus' mighty name. And Mama Tina, I pray that made a blessing. Please, what, did, what I just said is that this morning God has sent me here. There is a lot of deliances people are facing and people are fighting. And he has brought me here as an apostle and a prophet, a bishop here to release a prophetic word over your life. To break through and to shatter everything the enemy is trying to frustrate your life. So please listen, stay here with us. Press the share button, all the 51 of you on the Facebook. Press the share button, get somebody connected. When I am done with the prophetic message, we're going to pray giddy, 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 giddy. And then we just go and sleep. Tonight, I want to meet you one to one. In the Destiny Apostolic Church International. And we will be praying. Those of you who are my covenant partners, you know that we are on a three-day journey. And we are praying. Remember on the third day when Abraham lifted up his eyes, he saw the place God has talked about in the distance where Abraham said, when we get to that place, the Lord shall provide. Where there was a provision. After these three days, I am expecting and trusting God that there will be great provision in his people's life. If you are here listening to me and part of this broadcast every midnight on to Fridays and on Wednesdays, I want you to be part of the covenant partners. Call me on the numbers being put down there by my beautiful daughter Florence or by my chief producer Nana Ajemain. Please call me and if you want to become part of the covenant partners, let me take you through the process, add you to our covenant platform where messages are sent, where fasting, where directions are given, where we can get far in the things of God. Remember, God has designed a prophet for our prophet. So it is very important that sometimes you get prophetic direction to help us navigate through the journeys of life. I am praying for every one of you here that God will touch you in a very special way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Give thee a champion. I pray for you. If you are here and you believe that you are blessed. Type I am blessed. If you haven't done so already. If you have done so already. That's okay. You don't need to do that again. If you haven't done so already. Type I am blessed. As I see your comment. At the, I am blessed. I am going to pray for you. If God does tell me anything about you. I'll let you know if there is any direction. i also let you know so that you'll be able to do those directions. And it shall help you. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I give thee a champion. I pray for you that the Lord God Almighty will touch you and touch your heart. Touch your soul and touch your spirit. In the name of Jesus. If you can anoint your forehead and anoint your feet tonight... Before you go to bed, give to you a champion. If you are even lying on the bed, listening and watching this broadcast, I want you to quickly, as a matter of urgent, get up, look for oil. If you can't find oil, look for water and then touch it with, I know you have been coming to Israel with me for years now. So you definitely have oil in your house. So get oil, touch yourself, your forehead, and touch your toe, your feet. 
and pray that God, wherever the, you, 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 uh, the soul of my feet shall tread upon, your word says, according to Joshua 1.3, that place is mine for possession. And the word also says that you will lift up my head. You are the lifter of a man's head. Psalm 3. So lift up my head. When you are done, if your husband is sleeping, you don't necessarily need to wake him up. Just touch the oil on the forehead and the feet. That is it. If he's not asleep, let him do it himself. I tell you, God is alive. And the next day, when you have the opportunity to do so for your children, let them do so. The Lord is going to lift up your head. May the Lord, who is the lifter of a man's head, lift up your head and touch you in a very special way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rest forth, I pray for you. Minima zalikra gatuli baraturi katundima gatuya. Rest forth, I am praying in the name of Jesus for your life. I am decreeing and declaring. Uh, when you are there, you feel some sadness sometimes. Uh, you feel like things are not all that in order. You feel you are not happy. But sometimes you are not, you can't really uh, finger, um, finger point this one or that one. But there are few things that you know is not going on right. But you just feel not feel right. I want to pray for the peace of God that surpasses upon all understanding to be your portion. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive it, rest forth, receive the peace of God, receive the power of God, receive the oil of Christ Jesus, receive his anointing, receive his favor in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mali Kragazili Karagapuntuni Mazali. Receive your peace, receive your power, receive your strength, and receive your authority. Linda Ajikum, I pray for your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Linda, there is someone who normally is like into a particular competition with you, but you don't know. Uh, what I would like you to do is that anything that you set your mind and your heart on, please make sure that you have evidence of it before you talk about it, okay? Because to someone, it's like you are in a competition with me, but it is something you are not very aware of. By the time you realize certain things that are supposed to come easily, you'll be struggling with it, and it is as a result of spiritual thing. So please, make sure you have evidences of what you want to experience before you communicate them. I pray for your life that nothing can dis disturb you, nothing can delay you, nothing can derail you, and nothing can set you aback. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, Kitty jo uh, George, I am praying for your life. You are wearing a white trainers. Um, if it's Ghana, my country, we say white kambu. You are wearing a white trainers. But <laughs> the only thing I see is that the white trainers, where you are walking, it looks like the place is dust or dusty. The, the Lord is saying to me, I should tell you to be careful of your steps and your choices because your destiny, the white shoe you are wearing or trainers, you are wearing is a sign and a symbol of a good and a great destiny. But the choices and the decisions you'll be making, if you are not careful, will take you to wrong places. Or will, make, will bring you contamination, will bring you delayance, or will bring you setback. So I pray for your life that God will help you to make right choices and right decisions in the name of Jesus. Katie George, receive that touch, receive that grace, and receive that ability to make right choices and right decisions. In the name of Jesus, Honorable Bishop, Archbishop Elect, uh, Enoch Osaipoku, I see you holding two swords, two swords, two swords in your hands. One of them, the Lord says that it is a mantle sword. The other one, he says, it is a sword for slaughter. I'm asking God, what, why two swords? He's saying to me that he's giving you a mantle, a new mantle. It comes with a mandate. But I should also tell you and warn you that 
it comes with different challenge and it comes from it comes with different um, attack on it on but remember with the sword of authority and with the sword for slaughter you'll be able to be an overcomer in any challenge and any way so you are holding a sword of um a, a sword of um authority a sword for new mantle new mandate a new grace new level and you're also holding a sword for slaughter, a sword for weapon. So remember the first sword in your right hand, grace, that grace and mantle and mandate is bringing you new opportunities. At the same time, it will attract you new challenges and new devils, new evils. But you have what it takes to be able to be an overcomer. You are getting to a new level where that new level will bring you the new thing but i pray in the name of jesus christ of nazareth as your soul lives and your spirit live god in his infinite wisdom will not let the enemy have his own way in your personal life receive it in the name of jesus i decree i declare and i call the uncommon shekinah glory of yeshua Dan. there is somebody for some time now about a month you have been having some stomach upset. Your tummy has been rumbling. You've been having negative experiences in your tummy. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. As God lives and your soul lives, I decree and declare that healing is yours. Ah, receive it. Oh, I say healing is yours. Receive it. I say healing is yours. Receive it. Ma katundi agotushi we have some few minutes. Let me stop prophesying and let us do but some I, prayers. Um, okay. What do you feel uh, YouTube for? YouTube for. Mm -hmm. Okay. I let me say. go and see if there is anybody there yeah. in YouTube. We'll be over here. Yeah. Flo uh, Florence Osa. Oh, okay. We have so many people mm. in YouTube. Bonfan, yeah. tell me a YouTube before. Okay. Uh, Florence Bonsuosa, I think I have prophesied and bless you. I pray for strength and power and favor. Uh, Ruth 30, Ruth 30, I pray in that, ah, Jesus Christ, man, to the Ruth, I pray for you because it's like somebody is giving you something like tomatoes, but a it's so ripe and so blessed. Somebody is giving it to you. The person just gave it to you and then 10, and then all of the sudden, it's like the person vanished. The Lord is saying to me that there is a spiritual gift. There is a spiritual gift that is coming your way. The person just gave you tomatoes. It's in a basket. A brief of fe fe Or the more down in Juana. Why is it 10A? You will disappear. I pray there is a spiritual gift that God has embedded in their spirit and which needs to manifest. Please set aside some day and pray and ask God to let whatever He has embedded in you come to pass. Okay? Tosha Brenon Krabiano Abraboso, Awa Yasu Christo, Ah, Ofrena Dretten in Demo. Ellen Donko, I pray for you. Yes, indeed, you say you are blessed. I pray that that blessings of the Lord will be done in your life. Amen. Pray that you will, you will not wear space um, for everything that you do. Because I see that you are wearing space, but the space you are wearing is like the, you know, the sunglasses. Um, where the, the shade is a bit tinted or a bit dark to shield the, the, um, the sun from direct sunshine into your eye. Pray against any spiritual um, um, eye problem or anything that will, do, that will kind of slow your sight down. I do be a, please, and try and frequently, like if a yearly go check your eye pray against it D -d don't don't look at the fact that maybe at the moment uh, you are okay you don't have any problem or anything and then ignore this what i'm telling you what i'm telling you is a spiritual thing i normally would say to people um i wouldn't say anything i haven't seen if i don't i come here we pray you see most time i come we lead prayers we pray we go I wouldn't tell you what I haven't seen. There's no point. I don't get any benefit out of it. It's what I'm seeing. So take good care of your eye. Please 
act on this prophetic word so that the enemy cannot have upper hand over you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that God will save your, you safeguard your soul. Uh, Beatrice Danso, I am praying for you in the name of Jesus that the Lord God Almighty will save guide you and so support your destiny in the name of Jesus. May God save guide you and support your destiny within the last few days. The last few days is mo it's not more than two weeks. The last few days, not more than two weeks. I see that there has been a spiritual dreams, dreams on not good dreams, very bad dreams. Dreams you don't see the end and don't see the tail. Daya won't win it, you won't talk. It's that if you have one type P has he any idea, and it's all of bad. None of them is kind of physically um, in a good dream, and you have seen it. I am praying for you, say. Adibia, ye bada. Ezisi wo sun sun mune nyame ya ma odu weni kusi ya ehu no no. Me ma eurade Israel nyanko pon emana emba. Bon sametri mo podi ya ni apam diye diye. Bicho misi ya no kwa ndi aduma da seto. So eurade Yesu Christo nyo bo afu. Awa Yesu Christo di mo. Amen. Let me lead some few prayers and then let us, let me let you sleep. We will continue on tonight. When we meet at the church auditorium, um, we can come here and then not engage in very serious prophetic words. Remember, according to Proverbs chapter 13, mm -hmm. verse number 12, Proverbs 13, verse 12, hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Did you hear that? Hope deferred makes the heart sick. But a long game fulfilled is a tree of life. Hope deferred. Natural or say any any daswa, chalasa ache, any daswa, akechi, a dear old head nimu quina, if you know, a aje aje akechi, you know, or say a mo nipa cra wedding, o cra o yare, wakuma yare, what you say? Do you move a break? We are frustrated and confused and perplexed based on. The layers. the layers. So we are praying that any hope of ours, any dreams of ours, any visions, missions, purposes of ours that has been delayed, that has been denied, which is making our heart sick. We are praying against that spirit and that power. And we are reactivating the purposes of God. Jesus, Kabadi Bidibos, Yan Tabarado, Shatarabra, Libyan Taraba, Libra, Sian Terebibibos, Shatarabra, Shatarabra, Terebia Tarabada. Ya brasi ante ne bire 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 bo shatara brani bire atara ba ya bandoro bara bara bo shatara ba ni bire bo si ante ne bire 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 bo si atara ba ne anta ika ba ya brasi anta la brasu anta ne bire anta ya ika ba da ya bro shatara brante ne bire bire bo shat le bro si anta da ba di anta da ba da ay anta da ba di anta da ba da do shabadi anta da ba le bro si anta da ba e ya ba da brasi ante ne bire bire anta da ba matuski brantoro bara 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 bo shatara bra e ya bro si anta da Ya brasuan terebere 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 he abrantoro bara 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 b
Remember, I want us to pray this last prayer. The Bible said the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. Mm. The expectations are. Ah. Uh, Newton, Newton, you are watching me. The Lord is saying to me, I should tell you, you need to be serious in your prayer and serious in your Christian life. There is so much that has been embedded in your spirit and in your soul. There are gifts and talent God has embedded in you. God is saying to me, I should tell you to whatever you have to do, focus, determination, and apply your willpower. Let the fire, everything within you press on hard when you set any goal for yourself. Don't give up until you win because it is not over until you done so. Sometimes you just kind of, um, you compare yourself to friends or others. You just look at where you are. No, no, no. God is saying to me, I should tell you to run your own race. There is so much in you. That way you can get to, others can't get there. So don't look at anybody, okay? Amen. Focus on, on, on yourself, focus on your dream, and let what God has in store for you come to pass. Amen. Amen. Okay, so we are praying our last prayer. The expectations of the righteous shall not be cut off. We are praying that God in his infinite wisdom will keep us all so that the expectations of, remember the Bible says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick. So when you have expectation and the expectation keep deferring, keep deferring, keep deferring, your heart becomes sick. Your life becomes bored. You become frustrated. You become angry within you. Anything, little thing triggers you. But pray that, oh God, let every expectation and desires that you have in store for my life and that I have in store for mine, Oh God, let it come to pass. Amen. Pray, pray. Jesus, come on, 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 come on
keep you safe, sound, and secure. Amen. May you have a sound sleep and a good dream. Yes, Lord. May the desires of your heart be granted. Yes, Lord. And may all things surrender to your influence. Amen. I bless you with every spiritual blessing. Amen. And I speak prophetically that you will soar like an eagle, Amen. you will fly like a cloud, it is well mm. and it shall be well with you. Amen. In the name of the Father God, yes, of the Son Jesus, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Amen. God bless each and every one of you for joining me. It's been amazing. It's been beautiful staying here with you for one hour. I want to leave you to go to bed. Remember tonight is a Friday and today is a Friday and I'm, tonight I am meeting with every one of you. And we are going to have a very quality time in the presence of God. Tonight is prophetic. Tonight is deliverance. Tonight is a grace night. God is breaking delayances, rebuking delayances, pushing us far and taking us to somewhere. So please come join us. Let us go before the throne room of grace and let us go and let God do something better, something awesome, something amazing for us. God bless you. Please, if you want to become a covenant partner to my media broadcast, please, what I would like you to do is contact me. Call me, one of my daughters, um, Florence or Nanajima or someone, um, or some of their sons and daughters, will put my telephone number there. Pick it up and then get in touch. But those of you who are covenant partners, remember, I'm in, I'm in a journey of three days with you. Those of you who do not know, please, tomorrow, if God do permit, we are meeting 12, in, in fact, in the morning we'll be meeting praying. And in the afternoon, what's happening is that we'll be praying in the afternoon and then in the evening we'll be praying. Remember, remember your communion. Remember your communion because God is a God in our personal life. Yeah, yeah, communion. Yeah, God bless you. Let's share the grace together. And now, may, may the, the grace, grace of, of the Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and grant you peace. We are going to Israel. Please, this month is the last booking month. Anybody, everybody, if you know anybody who wants to come with us to Israel, or if it's you yourself who are planning to come with us to Israel next year, remember this month is the last registration month. Remember, this month is the last registration month. After this month, if you show up and there is an opportunity somewhere, otherwise, I doubt there will, there will be any opportunity. We haven't gone to Israel two years, so we, we, we are limited in space by the number of people showing up. We just won't, don't want to put too much stress on ourselves. Like the last two years, we went 125 people showed up in Israel. It was so beautiful. God said to me, son, announce to them, our next coming to Israel will be a year of return. I didn't understand because every year we've been coming for 10 years. So next year is going to be a year of return. What is happening? We are just coming every year. Little did I know that Corona, any new virus, now I understand when God said that it will be a year of return and I announced in Israel 2020, February. And now I understand what God always says is true. Say, after two years of break. And they say, Israel for everyone as I say, so I call him Kwa. Now we are designed to my bow, my sister, so be you. So, Pepe, Pepe. Maybe I talk, Fremi, Fretor Manager, Buku Space, Nayanko Israel. 
na nyame enko ye nshira enfama me ntena se last minute me sere e ma me fere fere me ha dwene ana me mpo ba bi mfa mo nshe pa cho me ntwi plain oye mpo ba bi mfa me nshe mpa cho da bi aha ana me nya djuma wo te ndi me sere sabri ya wo be kwa si wa dwene pi we tie the post dia ka bi tie nka kra nka kra na fi ye nko isra na nya fe me din dia for sake of yana but in Chia, any answer that Emma Joshua, turn off the dinner through my na or produce me. I want to thank Joshua. Also, want to thank Nanajima, my chief producer, who has been part and with me in the ministry of Destiny after for a long time now. And Florence supporting us from all the way from Germany. Florence, my beautiful daughter, thank you. The rest of you, I say shalom, peace of God be with you. Until I come your way again. Next Tuesday. Shalom. I say good night. Bye bye you. Bye bye. Zay. Nye. Unne moun. If you need free water. Unne bomb pie. Be bin si pa. Be si pa. Be si pa. Bomb pie. Water. Oh, Christ, oh, yeah, oh,